Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this lecture, we are going to talk about Corynebacterium diphtheri microbiology, the characteristics of Corynebacterium diphtheri bacteria and the details. So start with the first important parameter, gram nature of Corynebacterium diphtheri. Corynebacterium diphtheri bacteria is a gram positive bacteria. The next important feature is the disease caused by Corynebacterium diphtheri. Diphtheria is the disease caused by Corynebacterium diphtheri. The third important parameter is classification. The classification would be done based on the oxygen utilization. Based on oxygen requirement, it is aerobic in nature. Corynebacterium diphtheri is aerobic bacteria, requires oxygen for its growth. Based on nutrient requirement, it is heterotrophic bacteria that means it utilizes organic compound as a carbon source for their living. Next one is the virulence factors. What are the virulence factors of Corynebacterium diphtheri? Diphtheria toxin or DT is primarily acting as a virulence factor which inhibits the protein synthesis leading to the tissue damage and pseudomembrane formation. Next one here is adhesins. So adhesins, what is the role of adhesins? Facilitate the bacterial attachment to the host cell and attachment uh, for, further facilitates in the absorption and finally killing the host cell. The next one, uh, if we talk about the next parameter, that is the incubation period. The incubation period for Corynebacterium diphtheri ranges uh, typically from two days to five days, but it can vary depending upon where it is colonizing and how the environment is. Antibiotic susceptibility, the Corynebacterium diphtheri bacteria are susceptible to antibiotics like erythromycin, penicillin and others. While what about the antibiotic resistance of Corynebacterium diphtheri and if we talk about the resistance has been observed, but it's not that very well understood. Cultured method, if you want to talk about the culture methods of Corynebacterium diphtheri, it can be grown on specialized culture media that is the Loeffler's medium, okay, and Tinsdale agar medium. Loeffler's medium and Tinsdale agar medium. And uh, in this medium, you can find the growth of the colony as a black colonies or black dot like structures. This is the culture method, which is a confirmatory test for the Corynebacterium diphtheri. What is the detection method? If we talk about the detection type, there are four. The first one, if we talk about the first detection method is the culture. And in the culture method, it isolates the Corynebacterium diphtheri from clinical samples, particularly the throat swabs and tissue specimens. We can do that. The second important detection method that we can follow is the ELEC test. What is the ELEC test? It confirms the toxin production by the diphtheri, diphtheria bacterium. The third important detection step out there is the polymerase chain reaction or PCR. A specific detection of the Corynebacterium diphtheria DNA can be done with this. And the fourth and the final detection method are the serological tests, antibodies that are produced against the Corynebacterium diphtheri by the host which is a patient can be detected. Those antibodies can be detected with serological tests. So these are all the four detection methods. And I conclude this chapter regarding Corynebacterium diphtheri. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.